This interview is very close to my heart. There's a huge event coming up this weekend. Friends of UW Health is hosting a gala to benefit the American Family Children's Hospital where my son received treatment. So here to talk to us about that, Nikki Stafford, president of AFCH, and Misha Rora, president of Friends of UW Health. I'm so excited to have you both here with us today. Thank, thank you for you. stopping by. So tell us about the gala and how it supports families. Well, thank you for having us, yes. Amber, first of all, and promoting the cause. The gala and Friends started um, before there was a children's hospital. So Friends had the first gala to share the vision to create a children's hospital. Children used to go to the adult hospital um, mm -hmm. for care. And then the dream was shared and American Family Children's Hospital opened in 2007. And every gala has been dedicated to raising funds for the children's hospital. And since then, we raised over $8 million in support wow. of whatever the hospital needs as far as like a neonatal um, intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. We created, we helped create two floors for that. So help create the hospital, help create two floors. And ever since then, we've been going strong. And the gala mm -hmm. on Saturday is a Don't Stop Believe in Gala. It's to celebrate just being back together, lively, colorful, and the belief that um, we are fortunate to have the Children's Hospital here. And really incredible how far it's come in that period of time. AFCH receives a lot of support from the community. So how does that money directly impact the patient families? So Amber, we're really lucky to have a world-class Children's Hospital mm -hmm. here, but our focus is really to make sure that not just taking care of the patient, but the patient and the family. Um, whenever um, we are thinking about how to take care of the family. We think about what are those soft touches that we can offer? How do we create familiarity and um, security and um, just a sense of calmness when you're there? And so mm -hmm. some of the things that we get to do um, and that we're fortunate that those dollars go towards are offering family meals, right? So it's a time when people can be together. Um, child life is a great way, right, for to provide education, but also to provide some respite. So when families come into the hospital and they're bringing other children with them, right, mm -hmm. it's having siblings having a place to go so that parents can spend some time either with the provider, the nurses, um, or directly with the child and interact and have some of that alone time. Um, we also have the opportunity you know, just to do some other soft touches through like our um, fetch program. Mm -hmm. And so um, where we have our dogs coming through and, and offering just that little bit of extra love um, to help reduce some of that anxiety um, that our patients are going through just naturally um, when they're in the hospital. And it really is, you know, the whole family is touched in this process of caring for the patients. And I really felt that when, when we were in the hospital and the nurses and the staff and they sit with you for hours every day and walk you through everything. You're part of the, the treatment um, and, and the steps that are taken to help your child get better. And you talked about how lucky we are to have this level of care in our community. So how are some of the ways that the treatment programs have grown over the years? Well, we've been really fortunate. Um, I think when you have a state-of-the-art facility and you are an academic medical center and we can partner with the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health, we really are able to attract this amazing talent here. And because of that, we're also able to be really innovative through the research. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I think is, is really important and has really allowed us to change the way we care for kids is that our Department of Pediatrics is actually ranked seventh for NIH funding. Wow. And what that means is that we, um, we get a lot of dollars to really um, have an impact on how kids will be taken care of. And at the end of the day, it's all about creating hope. Right, And when we can create hope and opportunity for families, I think that um, we really change and shape and ultimately save lives. Absolutely. Well, the event is Saturday. It is sold out. So we are proud sponsors. I'm going to be so excited to be there and host. But thank you both so much for being here and for sharing more about the incredible facility and the incredible people we have here taking care of our children. Thank you. Thank Amber. you, Amber.